I love how with that piece, when most people see it, they think it's Cher, which I mean, it sort of is, but the model is actually a friend of mine named Stephen Wayne, who is a drag queen in Las Vegas and impersonates Cher every night. And he is very, very good. <laughs> um, I, when I met him to take the reference photos, I mean, I felt like I was having an audience with Cher. It was so exciting. Maybe even better in some ways because, you know, he was so nice. <laughs> like, hung out for a while and stuff. Probably the real Cher would have better things to do. <laughs> but I was thinking about um, when, how, as a 12, 13-year-old boy in the Midwest, I didn't know anybody else who was queer. Um, and, and, but I was fascinated with these particular divas like Cher and Dolly Parton and Madonna. And at that time... I thought I was the only boy in the world who loved that. I felt so strange, you know, in my school because all the other kids were into, I mean, the boys, I don't even know what they liked. MC Hammer, it was the 80s, whatever they listened to, I don't know. But I was listening to my divas and I felt like so weird because of that. And now, you know, it's almost a cliche for a gay man to say they love, you know, the divas like Cher because so many people do. And I, I guess as I was painting that one, I was just thinking about, well, what, why is that? You know, what is it about um, these um, iconic women that so many gay men are drawn to? And I can't speak for everyone and not every gay man worships Cher, even though they should. But um, I was thinking about how, I, for me at least, I think that the divas that I was drawn to really kind of embody this um, sort of extreme almost caricaturish version of femininity and they they embrace it and celebrate it and have become known for it and that those same qualities within myself I was taught to be so ashamed of and and embarrassed and it was something to hide so I think I think they represented like here's here are people who have those same characteristics that I feel inside I can't really look that way or you know do what they do but I've just felt this connection with them and and wanting to be able to be as free as they seem to be with you know celebrating those aspects of themselves so you know I think a lot of people um are drawn to celebrities and musicians, especially not so much even because of the, the music that they make, but because they feel some sort of connection with the person. That's definitely the case for, for me and Cher and also for me and Stephen Wayne. <laughs> so, and that was also just a side note, there's diamond dust in that painting, which seemed appropriate for the subject matter, but I had gone to the Andy Warhol Museum in Pittsburgh and saw where he used a lot of diamond dust in some of his prints, and I thought, I want to use diamond dust too, like Andy, so that was my experiment with diamond dust, and I loved it. 